in this video i am going to discuss about newton newton's rings okay first let us discuss about experimental setup of newton's rings that is here the experimental setup consists of a a plate glass plate this is the glass plate that is plain glass plate and above plain glass plate a plano convex lens is placed this is the plano convex lens and i am going to denote it by l and plain glass plate by g and here we can observe that a thin air film is formed here we can observe that a thin wedge shaped air film is formed here and here and here we are going to use a monochromatic source it is the monochromatic light and here also we are going to use another lens it is l1 and here we are going to use another plain glass plate which is placed at 45 degree angle and a microscope this is the microscope here from monochromatic source of light from monochromatic source a light is going to incident incident on a lens cell one and through lens cell one it is going to incident on a plain glass plate which is kept at 45 degree then these are the light waves which incident on glass plate which is placed at 45 degree angle then these light waves are going to reflect when they incident on plain glass plate and then they incident on plain convex lens and plain glass plate after reflection the incident here this is the direction of light and again when the incident on this plano convex lens and glass plate again here some of the light waves gets reflected and some of the light waves gets transmitted here i am going to represent reflected light waves by these two arrow marks this symbol represents the reflected wave when the light wave incident on the plane of plano convex lens and glass plate and again here these light waves are going to move towards the microscope and we are going to observe these reflected lights in microscope and here because of this wedge shaped film here uh, rings are formed here this if you observe this reflected light in a microscope we are going to observe alternate dark bright fringes in the microscope this is because here 
this reflected light waves are going to interfere each other because of the wedge shaped we are going to observe interference pattern in the microscope here the thickness is zero because of this we are going to observe a dark fringe and when we move from zero thickness it gradually thickness increases because of this here the waves interfere constructively destructively constructively destructively so so we are going to observe here bright dark bright dark depending on the phase shift of the reflected light waves we are going to observe bright dark bright dark fringes